Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to the Five Three Modeler. In this video, we will create this village and decorate it with different items. So let's get to it. First of all, we take an image of different items and then we start making it. But first, we have to make make everything. But and add an image of the items we need to make. First, we will create a cart. The top left corner, second one, we will make. Okay, first of all, we create a plank. Only one plank, so we have to make. The mirror will do the rest of the work. And we make it just like this and duplicate it. But first, add two woodworks right there. We can add randomness to it, but I won't. Just like this, scale them to the X, like that, and in the edit mode, add a cube and scale them to make the supports for our cart. Move them a little bit of the back and rotate it just like that. But first, scale on the Z and duplicate it right here and select the top part and rotate them both just like this. Now we have to add, but add another piece, or we can duplicate an edge and scale them and export them just like that and give it some thickness. Rotate it, give the support to our cart, and duplicate it to the cart here and to back there. Just like this, now we have a carriage to our car, carriage for our cart. Then we will create the wheel. Just like this, first we need to deselect some, uh, some vertices and dissolve them so our circle won't have much vertices and make a, to make a wheel, select, deselect and by checker, select one by one and scale them and extrude just like this, now scale them just like this, remember to scale them equally not uh, on the specific one now fill these face and fill this and now duplicate the back part back face uh, like this and scale it first ex we can extrude it or duplicate it and move them to the middle and we have to extrude this part scale down and extrude in just like this now we need to extrude the middle part and duplicate the front face just like this we can insert okay i will duplicate this part and extrude it just like this and give it some like, make it a little bit thinner and rotate it and scale it move it back and we will rotate it later that scale it to the Y and give it some thickness, rotate it just like this. Now our wheel looks more natural. Now duplicate this part and make it to the front. Okay. Now our cart is looking kind of good. Now duplicate this bottom pen, bottom cube and rotate it like this and move it down to match the shape just like this. Now we have our support where our animal will be um, dragging this card just like this add support to this plant like here and right here. Now our card is complete. Our card number one is complete. Now select everything instead of these, these ones and duplicate them and separate them just like this. Now we have a card number second base and now we need a circle and move it up but first delete the side part, side vertices and delete these bottom vertices, move it up and scale them on Z and extrude the bottom part right here. Okay, now extrude it just like this and move it back. Okay, now move it back and make the whole hood and add one loop cut here, extrude to the front and extrude to the back. Just like this, 
Now bevel this as well. Now we have three loops. Extrude them and scale them. Just like this. Okay, like this and extrude them and scale them. Now we have a card. Nice looking second card. Now move it to the middle. Like this. Now select these one and select these. Move it a little bit on the end. Now our second card is complete. Name it card number 2 and card number 1. Just like this. This will be uh, in, the, in our collection of our decoration. Move them to the decoration and hide them. Just like this. But first color them. So we don't need to color it later. Now, now select the wheels and color them a little bit lighter but not too much. Select these and this, this looks good. Now select the first one and select it red. Now select these loops and color them a little bit of gray. And just like this. This looks much better. Now color these wheels a little bit lighter brown and select these a brown too just like this now we have to add a circle and this this all some vertices and scale it down extrude them and invert and extrude make the sign pole so shape is almost ready Okay, now we have to add a plane to make the pole sign and to make a sign board. Okay, we have to make an arrow shape just like the sign looks like. And add one loop cut right here and move it to move it to the side. Move these vertices to the side to make it another one. Duplicate it, rotate it on the Z and move this top part of our pole. And now move the duplicate another board and <coughs> move it up a little bit. Okay, this looks good. Now rotate it on the Z 90 degrees just like this. Now we have seven signs. Rotate it just a little bit and rotate this one like this. And now join them and color them a little bit different brown just like this and color them a little bit darker. Now we have a sign board. Now duplicate this uh, usual dish, this default pole and make it a little bit make it another light pole. Okay, now hide this and move it in the center just like this. Now we have to add a plane, another plane and scale them on the wire. Move it up move the front vertex to the right and extrude it to give it some thickness just like this okay now duplicate this part this vertices and move it and extrude it right here okay now scale it on the y axis and give it make it a little bit thinner move this vertex down and a loop right here just like this now give it some thickness too. Just like that. It's a little bit thinner but it's okay. And move them just like this. Now we have to make a lamp. To make the lamp add a plane. And scale it down. And move it up. Extrude it. Scale it. And then extrude again. And scale. Just like this. Merge the top part. And now scale it down and extrude it. And now we have a nice looking lamp shape. Move it a little bit down and insert these faces. Extrude, insert, just like this. Now color it black and color the faces a little bit brighter. So it is a bright lamp. Just like this. Give it emission a little bit of yellow. Like this. Now our lamp. It's almost looking good. Now we have to hang it. To hang this, we will bevel these vertices, extrude, scale, and move it to the wood board. Okay. 
now our lamp pole is complete Move it, give it a little bit scaling and now name it light pole okay now unhide everything we just made and place them in the whole village where it looks good first of all we add the signboard only one we need and light pole as much as we need okay i will duplicate it in the whole village rotate it and just like this if he actually duplicates the object but create more mesh in the scene but we don't need that so we have to link duplicate every pole just like so i have to delete these one and select these and alt d just like one here and we have to duplicate this like in one here and everywhere to the whole village just like this remember to link duplicate every every pole we just make one place here place one here and place one here and one here and right one here okay this looks good now we have to add the origin of our card to the bottom so our snapping will do its good after we set the origin to the bottom of the of our card it's important to set the origin to the bottom one i will place a card one card here and place wherever we like and duplicate this one here just like this now i will duplicate one card here and duplicate this one and place its origin to the down place it right near this house like that I rotate it and move it like there and duplicate remember to make it link duplicate as well and place one here and place another one here now place it correctly and duplicate it next to it make another one just like this okay this looks good now we have to duplicate the first card and move it to right there just like this now place this tree and duplicate them just like this here okay now card placing is complete now select everything and hide it now add a circle and dissolve some vertices so it's not a height and smash now add one loop cut in the middle and scale them just like this to make the barrel we have to bevel this loop right here and bevel these vertices right here and extrude them to make a barrel shape loop now select this space from top and bottom now insert and extrude inwards now select some faces and some move some edges to the top and move them some down bevel some edges and fill them to give it some distortion and natural bevel these like this and bevel this one right here move them and give it some distortion now our barrel looks good just like this now select these loops and color them from and place them in the village okay now duplicate it every barrel and i will place one here and remember to rd it everywhere because shift d duplicates object but creates more mesh now i will duplicate this one here and one here this looks good and little bit more natural now i will place one here and another next to it another and one on the top just like this move it a little bit on the x and now we have nice looking storage barrels in our villages now place one in this cart as well just like here place place much more and i will only place three to four okay and i will place one here in next to this house and 
one here. Now we have to wait paint some areas in our landscape where our grass will be. We play, paint some areas near the river just like this and back to the houses just like that and around the field and near the church and back to these houses as well. Now I will paint the forest part and select the vertex view and assign it. Okay. Now we have to create a grass. First we add a plane and scale it. Add one looper right here. Three, two to three loopers right there. And scale them and give it a grass shape. Just like this. Now we rotate it and make a grass shape like that. Scale it down and scale it up. Now move this loop and move it back a little bit and move it and shape it grass shape and shape it like grass. Okay, now duplicate it and place them wherever you like. Some scale them some a bit and scale them down. Now duplicate them and scale them just like that. Get more as much but not too much okay move them a little bit of closer and make it like a real grass just like this now this looks good now color it green and the select the plane and add here particle system and add rotation to it and select the render parts to our object now select the density and assign the vertex Okay, now here, set the hair settings we just made for our plain landscape for our grass. Adjust the setting as you like. Now wait paint some areas where we don't want grass. So wait paint um, select the weight to zero and select the part where we don't want the grass to be and select the part area and paint them as well just like this and paint this part part we don't want grass on the part so paint them correctly where you want where you don't want the grass will be okay this looks good and paint every each area where you don't want grass now our grass path grass path is it looks good now we have to duplicate the grass we made and color it yellow and scale it on the Z. Now select the field part and select the render part to object and select the yellow grass we just made. It will be the fields for our village. Now select the vertex loop in the density and set the rotation just like this and uh, increase the number size to much more as you as you want how much you want set the number to like two to three thousand and set the set this card next to the field just like this okay now our almost work is complete now we only thing we need is a bridge for our river set the additional settings of our hair particles Okay, this looks much better. Okay. Okay. Now we have to make a bridge. But first set loop for cycles in it and see how our render looks like. And this will be our last part, but first we have to make a bridge to complete our work. Now add a cube scale to the X. Now add mirror to it and set the origin. Now 
extrude multiple times and move them just like here and select this loop right here okay move this loop up and bevel it now move it a little bit down okay now add one row cut and bevel it and now select these faces and extrude them and move them to make the shape of our bridge okay now select the faces in between them now our bridge is complete now place it in the village and our river bridge will be here i made just a place where our bridge will be move it a little bit up just like this now color it and color the center loop this and color it a little bit lighter okay this looks good okay move it a little bit up okay move the top bottom but see a little bit down just like this now our bridge is complete and our village is also complete Thanks for watching. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And I will see you in the next part. So subscribe my channel and like this video. And our bag is complete. The marigold village bag we are ma making is complete. Now set the camera angle, and I will see you in the next part. Insert in the last. Thanks for watching, and Allah is.